for, for, uh, for Big D. He's, uh, I'm sure he's around. He's in Canada. He might come out. I actually managed to play a couple of games against him as well. I used to, uh, I, I sort of still do main uh, King D2D. And uh, I got to play against him uh, when we were out at Get On My Level 2019. Boy oh boy, he's a good player. <laughs> he's a very, very good player, so. Uh, very, very excited to see him. Uh, hopefully see him again, but uh, more importantly, I'm very excited to see uh, this Bowser Jr. versus uh, Smok, who is yet to hit. No, okay. Right. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is what I want to see. There we go. I, okay, so I've learned my lesson. When I started commentating, I would always bash characters that I dislike. I'm not, a, apparently, it's not a good thing to do that. <laughs> so, a button check, by the way. Ah, uh, here we go. So, I'm not going to um, say anything Good. about uh, Ganon. Oh, okay. But I, I, right before it starts, I'm going to express my dislike for Ganon. Right. Now that that's over with, we can play a good game of Smash. So is it like from a from an online point of view, or is it going to be um, just a? It's a personal thing. Oh, okay. You just you couldn't beat him in Breath of the Wild. You're like, God damn it, Ganon! <laughs> I can't I can't beat the you. The boss is too hard. <laughs> And honestly, whenever you come up, come up against the heavy, especially when you're playing online, it really does feel like a bit of a boss battle. Like, you kind of just have to dance around the character and just really hope that you don't get hit. Much more as it's fun, you can throw out a bunch of combos, you can get a lot of hits in. And get... it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, very, it's terrifying, honestly. I'm always on the edge of my seat, even if I'm in the lead, because I know that one hit, and I'm either, wor you know, worst case scenario, or best case scenario, I take a bit of damage, or a lot of damage, best case. And uh, worst case, I die, <laughs> so it's terrifying. So there, there is one thing though. I said I didn't like Ganon, but um, I do like Smog's Ganon. I love Smog's Ganon. Oh, Smog, it's Smog's Ganon to watch. Great. Who's the other commentator? Uh, my name is Olag from uh, Australia. Uh, when you saw in the bracket today that there was someone from Australia, uh, they weren't joking. I promise, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't kidding. And before um, this game starts, my name is Matza at Real Matza on Twitter. That's the first time I plugged it all day. So. Um, <laughs> Let's get it going. Smog versus Bird. Already Bird getting some good percentage, although you know Smog just with a few side smashes can um, build that back. Absolutely, and I think uh, Smog is a, uh, and, and Ganondorf as well, is a, is a great, great user of uh, those up airs. It's such a, such a big hitbox, such a relatively fast hitbox, covers a lot, and uh, yeah, does a lot of damage. So you can see, yeah, you can see Bert using uh, a lot of those mix-ups with his side B, trying to just kind of float above Smog, so he's trying to use those uh, up airs when he can, or up airs rather when he can. Ooh, I, okay, so Bert went really deep there, and he used the hammer out of the up beat too. I was expecting him to regret that one, but he did not, in fact. And um, Smog, I think, takes a, an SD here. I, I hate to see it happen, especially with the character with such a linear and also quite relatively poor recovery as, uh, as Ganondorf. Yeah. Like uh, missing missing something there, using a side B instead, it, it's it's it spells disaster. Uh, yes, I, I have. I've commented. I've commented a bunch in Montreal. Uh, it's. Uh, I decided to come out of the region, and I'm like, I've come, come out of my cage, and I'm having a lot of fun. So, let's talk about you, but let's also talk about that jab lock combo Such a on the lock. Ludwig. Crazy stuff. I think that's awesome. I don't know. There's just some tech with Ludwig that I've never seen, but. Oh, that was scary. I had a heart attack there, real quick. But he pulls oh, out the hammer out of the up B and out. sends Smock to the left side of the screen. Great stuff from the Ludwig. I love to see that hammer come out on the up B. It is, it, it has no right to be as powerful as it is. Oh, it hits like an absolute train. It hits like Ganondorf, honestly. If not stronger. It hits Ganondorf like Ganondorf's hitting everybody else. That's not fair. <laughs> no, it's actually an up smash. Oh, okay. All <laughs> right. There we go. Up throw into up end to up end. Good dodge by, by uh, Strumbert here. The up smash that Smock had cooking for him on the stage. By doing that, it's going to allow him to rack up a lot of percentage, whereas he could have just lost his thought. I think that might be that might have been a play that went in the game there. Oh, oh, unless, great stuff. unless Smog goes next to him and presses up on his C stick, in which case now the game is closer. Oh, he's got oh, there's a bit of shield pressure in there. Oh, nice. Calls him out. Goes in with the down air into the foam. Look at that. 50% already. Half of the uh, entire stock is back. Strubert only needs one good hit, though. The Smog is pretty dang close to death, but he is off stage and Ganon nice. just needs one big sword. He is a big sword boy, so he's gonna pull that out relatively soon here. Oh, calls out the uh, abandoned ship by throwing his feet down and saying, 
Get back in your clown car. It's down there. You gotta go and meet it. Goodness. You abandoned it. Unbelievable. It sends the rock bottom. It. What's the name of the... You know where... Um, everybody knows this, right? In the SpongeBob movie, okay? Okay. When they, when they, when they go down the cliff. Yes. What's the name of that place? Oh, no. Uh... You know what I'm talking about, right? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know when they like meet the guy with the big boot? With the big boot, and then they, they scream about the bigger boot. That's where he went. That's where he just sent Bird. <laughs> they sent him to the Mariana Trench, the very the, the very of the deepest ocean. point of the Mariana Trench. <laughs> oh my goodness! I, it might have been a zero to death. I thought I wasn't watching. I, I don't. Didn't, I don't know if it was. I don't know. No, I think it, it was. No, 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 because he was being jabbed against the ledge. Yeah, exactly. Uh, alrighty, so Smok swapping out to Joker here. He does definitely have a Joker. He's taken a couple of uh, Montreal Weeklies with it, but uh, this ain't no Montreal Weekly. This is uh, this is gonna be pretty pretty, oh, pretty stacked match here. It is rock. Yeah, that's why I said rock bottom earlier. Because <laughs> I, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's bottom. what. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Ah. It is. Because it's like bikini bottom and rock bottom. That's a that's a great pun actually. Uh, I, I respect the writers of SpongeBob for doing that. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, here we go, Smok has already got us and he's basically just swapped back to Ganondorf mid-match. That's, uh, that's impressive, I wish we could do that. Wow, it's like Pokemon Trainer 2. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and he's got the recovery, he'll be fine. As Arsene pieces out. Great Ooh, read, just you can... Time. Okay, this man uses the uppy, the hammer of the uppy to read the get up option. I think that's fantastic. That's it's so strong. unexpected. It's like uh, King Dedede using his uppy to actually read. Oh, what a no. great read. What a call out. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Forward smash just taking him out. The fully charged forward smash, no less. It's, I mean, look, that you know, like, they used to have those reading level books when you're, like, a kid? Like, that was a level one reading book, honestly. Oh, that was, wow. like, that had pictures in it for, for Bird. <laughs> it was, like, a bit of a dot to dot. He just saw those lines connect, and he's like, I can do it. We've got it. 56% yep. already. Arsene is doing nothing for Smok right now. That was like a crossword with 7 out of 8 of the letters already in it. <laughs> All you have to do is write B. Oh, tries to reflect uh, something there. Oh, okay. Gets that neutral air. Oh, the side B. Again, it has a lot of knockback. It never really kills, though. Ludwig is a big tanky boy, though. Sitting at 184% and still doing damage on this Joker. Oh, nice. Calls out the side B just by hitting with the dash attack. Oh, tries to get the back air. Oh, wow! It's we might up. see a three stock from Strumbert. Oh, nice. Tries to get the, the, the get up attack at 120%. Might have done a seriously bit of damage. Oh, that up air is definitely going to take some, take some uh, life out of Smok there. Arsene is back. Oh, but Arsene just got hit in the face with a bomb. Yeah, your top hat cannot protect you from that. The dash attack not going to kill. Great stuff here, Strumbert. Joker at 165. Oh. Strumbert is going to probably kill here with this down throw. And oh, it wow. does. Downthrow. And it sends sideways too. A three stock statement victory coming back from that loss. The momentum is now all on Strumbert's side. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, Smok uh, swapping, to the, swapping to the Joker, expecting to try and uh, you know, maybe get a couple of counters in there. And uh, Bert was not having any of it. Boy, oh boy. Joker is not looking cool. He, <laughs> he sure as hell is not. Oh, wow. Well. Unfortunately, that weird little cat thing is uh, is not going to be much help for him now. You know, the weird little cat thing that Joker has, sorry for my lack of persona knowledge, kind of looks like Ludwig. Yeah, that's true, actually. It's a small small little boy just kind of following him around. It's it's as if Joker's pet is Ludwig, but the pet just turned on his master. <laughs> All right, so what's Swamp going to do? Will he go back to Ganondorf? Yeah, yeah I think, and I think that's the good idea, because... You, I mean, you got three stock. Yeah, he like, just had significantly larger hitboxes consistently I feel is uh, is the best option uh, I mean yeah the, w as soon as he had Joker I, I feel like uh, Bert just had so many like it was so much easier for him to just pause and just wait him out or alternatively just space him out too which I think is actually what Bert was really going for oh there we go nice up air on the platform and calls him out misses the tech gets punished by getting the forward smash and of course, last game there was that big read on the on the Arsene counter. Oh, that was beautiful. Nice up here. Oh no, the Mecha Cooper is in Smok's hand. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, wow! wow. He, he hit him double. Smoke. Yeah, I, I thought I didn't think you could do that. Oh no, he misses the tech. I hate to see it happen. 
was trying. <laughs> he was trying to go for some cheese, getting the down B. Oh, down air rather. We've seen Strumber do that so many times, where he upbees back onto the stage and uses the hammer once he's out of cart. Oh, leaves the bomb there. Abandons ship, but unfortunately the ship didn't really do too much else other than just disappear. Smash. Oh, great, great aerial movement there with uh, Gert's side B. Thank goodness, otherwise that would have been the stock. Nice down air. He did have his jump though. Great, great uh, observ observation for Smock there. I don't understand that interaction. I just looked at that and I... I it feels like Ganon should have died there. Yeah, but uh, he had his jump though. Even though he did get the drag down, he still was able to jump and get back up. It's a it's great, a great option there by Smock. Alright, so now it's a 2-1 game. Ganon up. Uh, by one full stock here on this Ludwig and we know Ganon does a lot of hurt so it could be bad for Stripper. He's in for a world of pain if uh, Bert's not careful, that's for sure. And throwing out those side Bs, maybe he's uh, going to throw caution to the wind and try and get a bit of damage in but uh, Ganondorf, is, uh, that's exactly what Ganondorf wants. He wants you to get angry, he wants you to start approaching with unsafe options because he will punish you hard for it. Oh yeah, Bert going very very deep for trying to get him, getting a kill there. Nice neutral there. And now Strumbert at 86%. Ganon looks like he might be able to close this out very soon. Smock hoping to not have to go further than a game four here. Oh nice, great call out. Calls yep. the fact that he rolled backwards and just calls him out with the up smash. Beautiful stuff. I mean, that's what happens when you're that close to the ledge. If you're going to try and roll back, because obviously, you know, no one's going to expect a rollback, uh, except for Smoke. <laughs> Very back and forth series here. So, Strumbert dominated the second game. Smoke dominated the third game. But the first game was relatively even. So I'm expecting this game now to be very close. And I think Smoke has no choice to stick on Ganondorf here. Yeah, he knows exactly. Uh, he knows exactly what he's doing. So, uh, yeah, just in case anyone ever ever wants to think, uh, Ganondorf isn't that strong. I mean, look, obviously everyone everyone always gets to see oh, that classic, you know, you know, Naro MK on stream. But uh, this yeah. is the real deal as well. This is the stuff that we get to. This is the stuff that we get to see weekly uh, in Montreal. This is the stuff that we get to see right now at uh, the summer. Oh, Shield you guys break. never get to see Bowser Jr. We do, that is very true. We do not, and it's it's actually proving to be such a treat. He doesn't have his jump. I don't believe. I think he's done for. Great stuff from Spurt. Wow. Such good pressure. Awesome game. Yeah, using his you know, neutral B, his down B, like it everything. It is so hard to do that because you have to time it perfectly. Yes, but it drops too. Yeah, I, I recognize that actually. That was amazing. Pulls out his side B with a dash attack. <laughs> There's nothing more terrifying than a Ganondorf who just stands there and does nothing. It's like, a, it's like trying not to wake a sleeping lion. You, just, you really don't want to uh, accidentally get make, make a wrong move. Oh, okay, picks it up with the very late hit the up air, I guess. Okay, now Strumberg needs to take needs to get as much damage as he can on this stock, and he's not going to get any of it, because I started talking again and opened my damn he mouth. You. He heard me. He said, no, I'd rather die, thanks. <laughs> nice call, but uh, nah, sorry. Alrighty. That, yeah, fully neutral. It seems like a pretty good option for Bowser Jr. Actually, it seems like a pretty, pretty clean, pretty lingering hitbox. Yep. Oh, oh, nice. Again, those projectiles from Stripper coming in so handy. He's been doing a great job. He's like a snake. <laughs> He's always there. He's always catching you. He's always got some, some explosive. Oh, drops it. Gets the tech. Good, good stuff. tech, though. Yeah. Although now he's sitting at 158. Not so pretty. Gonna get called out by the neutral. Be not gonna be enough though. Probably oh. could have been a better option from Strumbert, but Smock still makes it back. Strumbert needs to close out this stock, or else Ganon could take his life very soon with this rage. Oof. Almost uh, All right. Oh, nice. Gets the up air off the ledge. Bird is going to be extremely happy because now Ganon no longer has the rage. So he's going to be able to do a lot of damage. Wow. Good stuff. 20%. Oh, uh, and gets the jab. 32%. Ganon's all oh, right. Look at that dash attack. Unfortunately, whips underneath Bowser Jr. Oh, look at that tech the jab. Yep, 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 yep. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was saying yep, but it was no. Nice <laughs> but, oh, goes pulls out the sword. Yeah, ballsy, ballsy side me there, because Ganon definitely could have taken it. Oh, oh, wow, what a call out! What a read. Great. 
prediction there on the launch. He knew that. He's tried that. That's tried and true. I mean, that's training mode. My that goodness. is a training mode combo. Pure good stuff from Strumberg. Oh, we have to just get a we have to get a bit of a recap of what just happened there. Yo, Junior mains, check it out. So we had what? Uh, Ganondorf tries to attack Bowser Jr. with a dash attack, which is relatively unsafe. We see Bowser Jr. shields it. The Mecha Koopa comes up, blows up in his face. Yep. And then uh, he just jumps up as he gets launched and hits him with the back air. Yep. That's oh what it looked like goodness. to me. That was gorgeous. Always. What a string. That's uh, that's phenomenal stuff. Okay. So we are into game number five. Oh boy. Classic Burt. Classic Burt. Goodness, I love me some sort of um. I love me some. What am I talking about? <laughs> some low tier goodness. Oh, for sure. Ah, I, 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 story. Okay. I've been on this for like since 5:30. <laughs> That's right. This, you got the endurance of a god. The words are getting rough now. The words they hurt. My heart, my soul. Alrighty, so we got the Ganondorf and the Ludwig. Still, still sitting pretty. Alrighty, so uh, we got Bert having a bit of a having a bit of a snack break as well. Alright, they're good to go. I think it's a gum. Oh, uh, that's probably actually yeah, that makes more sense. It'd be kind of strange if he's just uh, getting his hands all greasy on something. But uh, this is gonna be game number five of the losers' quarters. Here we go. We love to see some game fives. Oh no, that makes it just sits there. Of course, all the Quebec City boys cheering on. Our uh, main man Strumbert, he's a, he's one of the fantastic TOs in charge of this event as well. He's just, so he's been doing a great job behind on the scenes and on the stage. Oh, but, uh, very excited to see what Smoke can do. He's keeping him off the stage, which is uh, very interesting for, uh, for a Gandalf as well to be able to do that against a Bowser Jr. But he throws out that huge rainbow. It hurts. That up smash. It hurts to see. Like when oh, you, you when, can... when you're watching, you can feel the pain of getting up smashed like that. Yeah, it's images you can just you can like. You can hear the image already. It's terrifying. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, looks that the weak hit of the uh, up air just to kind of send him a little bit backwards. Still keeping him uh, off, relatively off to the side. Such a great, great level of pressure too. Yeah, Smog taking a comfortable lead in this game here. He's not want to let his chance to go to grand finals slip away. Oh, definitely not. I mean, once uh, once once Smock really uh, starts taking off, he starts he starts you know burning the midnight oil. Now that it hits 10 p.m., he's uh he's really he really becomes a different beast. Oh, nice, interesting. We grab the ledge. Up. Great option. Oh and wow! And calls him out again. The up smash. The platforms on Yoshi's, I think, are good. At, like, why? You know what? He can always hit the platform. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. If you are, yeah, if you, if you get the up smash in the middle of the uh, the, the platform, it's just going to cover the whole thing. I've uh, I've fallen victim to that many a time. From, uh, from Smok and from uh, other players of Ganondorf. It's really quite terrifying. Oh my goodness, if you missed that tech, that would have been lights out. And Smok getting ready to close out this game here. He's going to go for something cheeky. Bird does not let him do it to him. Down throw, not enough to kill. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. I see what he's going for. Tried to avoid the uh, tried to avoid the cannibal and ended up uh, taking his own life for it. So this could be the start of the comeback from Bird. I don't. It would take an enormous comeback. This would be on every Smash Highlights YouTube channel in the world, and that's why I think that in a minute, Smock is about to just up smash him and take the game. <laughs> and I'm saying that because every time I said something, the opposite has happened. Uh, okay, I respect that. All right, well let's uh, let's see. Otherwise, uh, Bert might call you out for, for cursing you. I don't know. No, nice. Smock is, Ooh, nice. is about Ooh, to take it right here. Smock is about to take it. Ooh, uh, Jesus. And this is the tech. Unfortunately, the uh, Yoshi's Island does have that kind of weird angle at the side yeah. there. It's got to send you a really strange angle. But Smog takes game number five of the losers' quarters. And he will move, move on, on to face Fwed, right? Oof, I believe so. Actually, we're going to be playing Ally and Black Twins uh, next.